Like surprises? Kyle. Kyle Hamilton. Yes. This is your father. <laughs> Since the Ravens have come back in the league in 96, no one has done it better. You guys fired up or what? Yes, yeah, sir. Jalen? Roll out. The Ravens are the Ravens because usually they are going to take the best player available. That's it. That's all we got. Welcome to Boston. <laughs> What's up, Trent? We are poised and we are ready to rebound from this season with a vengeance. We will. We are at the Under Armour Performance Center here in Owings Mills. Keith Mills, Femi Ian Badejo, and Jameson Hensley. The Ravens picked 14th tonight, at least for now, gentlemen. Eric DaCosta has said many times, as did Ozzie Newsom, this is the, the draft, the lifeblood of the Ravens franchise. What do they do tonight? As somebody said, you don't have to know every single player, you just have to know the players that you're gonna draft. Well, in less than an hour, Commissioner Roger Goodell will step in the podium and officially kick off the 87th NFL draft from Caesars Forum in Las Vegas. Time to get the show started. You ready? The 2022 NFL Draft is now officially open. You think the Ravens may trade back and get two players in the first round? Yeah, no, I think they, they're going to end the night with two players in the first round. I, I believe that. I think there is a way that they can get two outstanding players tonight. Once Kyle slipped below 10 and you start looking at it and saying there's a chance he might actually get there where we're picking, you know, and there was excitement, you know, just we're going to have a shot. So now it's time for the Ravens. Kyle Hamilton's the, my fifth player in this draft. You know, in the draft you sit there and you just, you don't count your chickens until they hatch. Hey, is this Kyle? Hey, it's Eric DeCoste from Baltimore. From How you doing? Good. We're going to make you a Baltimore Raven. We're gonna turn the card in. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm excited, I appreciate you, thank you. Once he got there, we were fired up. Let's go. <laughs> the Baltimore Ravens select Kyle Hamilton, defensive back, Notre Dame. Baltimore Ravens at 14 got a player that has to be in just about everyone's top five in terms of consensus rankings. He was my favorite player in this draft. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. Feels good. I'm super excited to be a Raven. It's, it doesn't even sound right saying that. It's crazy. I don't think I'll get used to that for a minute. That boy in the A? Oh my God, that boy is in the A. I might have to put you on. No, I'm glad you did. I ain't happy for you, bro. Hey, you too, brody. You're going to love it. Yeah, that's my boy. Go kill. You too, bro. Hey, what Tyree up there, man? Tell him I say what's up. Uh, I bet I will. I will. It's it's surreal. I still I don't think it's set in with me that I was just drafted. Um, I'm thankful. I'm blessed. Uh, I'm in the best position, best place I think I could be in right now. So I'm excited. How are you feeling? I don't think it's really set in yet. Our friends look so hype. For real? Oh yeah, they said a video. It's awesome. <laughs> Hollywood Brown has just been traded by the Ravens and a third round pick in this year's draft to Arizona for their right to move back and take Arizona's first round pick. When you trade a player, you know, it's hard to move on, but it was an opportunity for him to grow in Arizona and it was an opportunity for us to get another young talented player in the fold in Baltimore. You know, all things being equal, I would have preferred to keep Hollywood. But knowing his mindset, knowing what was important to him, his desires, we made a trade that we feel like we could live with at the time that will look good in the future. The Ravens zig when everyone else zags. They are a run, run the ball first team. And the Baltimore Ravens on the clock here at number 25. They also don't have a pivot and an interior front. Blocking up front, play like a Raven also means running the football. The Ravens pick is in. Let's find out who's going to join yeah, you in Baltimore yeah. here uh, as Roger Goodell is heading back to the post. Yeah, who's your team? He's going to be my best friend. The Baltimore Ravens select Tyler Lindenbaum, center, Iowa. 
Are you going to be the next great Iowa Hawkeye Baltimore Raven? Yes, sir. I got you. You do? Yep. Cool. You got the best center in the draft. He's quick. He is stout in the run game. You know Tyler at all? I don't, but I know he's a beast. I know that. That's the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all thrilled we got, in our opinion, the very two best players at their positions. When do you think it will set in? I don't know. Maybe when I get off the plane tomorrow in Baltimore. Teammate, what's up? Congratulations, Tony? man. Congrats. Congrats, Congrats to you. Teammates? Hey. Hey, what's up? How are you, How you doing, man? Good. Ronnie, Ronnie, nice to nice meet you. you. Kyle, crazy. good to see you again. Crazy. Full circle? Yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. I know, I, dude. That's crazy. You're going to love about Kyle. Yeah, I'm excited. You kind of cover your chest. You want to make sure your players are cool. Bring a guy in, you're like, you're like, when I first came here, it was like, it's just 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 Nine months trying to find players like you. Absolutely. I know the scouts are fired up and the coaches are fired I'm up. I'm fired up too. So. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. I think you know which player I think of. I think of Ed Reed, but I think of the Ravens. And some written in the stars. I'm excited to hopefully fill those shoes. And I know it's big expectations, but I feel like I can, I can exceed them. Like surprises. Kyle. Kyle Hamilton. Yes. This is your father. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you again. What's up? What's up, bro? I'm good. I'm good. I've been a uh, I've been a Raven for less than 24 hours. I've been asked about you about 50 times. So, you know, you know Ed Reed. You know Ray Lewis. You talk about filling a position that was manned by Ed Reed. Do you look at some of that the legacy of safeties like Ed Reed, the Hall of Famers that played there? This is gonna have to be one of those things. <laughs> yeah, man. You know that that stuff. You know, I'm glad you said that because I got my son right here. Trey, come say what's up to Kyle. What's up, bro? You know, and I talk to him about similar things, you know, because people gonna always compare him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm mm -hmm. like, I tell him, like, he got his own lane. Like, he's in a different generation, a different era. You know, man, you do your thing, man. Don't worry about the comparison, man. That stuff, that stuff is just there. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, 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 your own person, your own man. You know what I'm saying? You do your thing, bro. That's going to be that. Anyway, that's natural, bro. That's that's what got you where you at, you know? Right, exactly. I appreciate that. And I'm going to definitely uh, be in touch. Thanks for the, thanks for doing this. It's, uh, it's been a crazy day, but I mean, I'm excited to be a Raven for sure. All right, bro. You enjoy the rest of your day, man. You and the family, man. Enjoy that. Will do. You too. Right on. All right. All right, Kyle. That was pretty dope. <laughs> What's up, man? Good. How are you? Good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Baltimore. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Welcome to Baltimore, man. My name is Jamil. You know, I'm director of player engagement, but simply short, sure, my goal is to make sure that you guys are thinking about life after football while playing football. Y'all are ravens. You know, I mean, y'all are literally ravens. Like, you guys personify what a raven is, what it looks like, what it acts like off the field, on the field, being nasty, but still pulling somebody up off the ground, man. Y like, y'all are gentlemen, man. So I know y'all have met a lot of people. I know y'all know about the history, but you're in a great place. And I, I mean, I can say that because I've been here and somehow they kept me around, you know, so <laughs> something, something is happening here. And I'm just, I'm fortunate to be able to walk on this journey with y'all everybody not just the guys with the family also because i really am a resource for everyone you know i anything that i can do in my power i'll do it man so how y'all feeling in baltimore but it's been good though it's been good I'm it's excited. been crazy how you feeling ty excited to be here man i'm excited i'm ready ready to get going amen to that so welcome to baltimore welcome to black swan that's it y'all what does night two have in store? We'll find out. We have 73 picks. Baltimore sitting right there at 45. The Baltimore Ravens select David Ojabo. Yes, sir. Mike Mack, man. What up, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. 
Come on, man. Let's run that back, man. Come on. I'm like shaking, bro. I'm so excited for you, man. I, just, like, I don't even know what to say, but I mean, love you, man. Let's go! Yeah, fired up. What? Yes, sir. Got the camera for Oh man, I'm fired up, man. Trying to calm down. Baltimore Ravens select Travis Jones. Eric DeCosta just sat there and let the draft come to him. Yeah, Travis just so full, right? For a guy that big, to be honest. I thought he, he reminded me of Don Terry Poe. Bright eyed, like yeah, he wants to work. Yeah, yeah. I think he wants to be led. Once you show him how to do it, for sure. Yeah, for sure. We got something there. I hope so. Right. I'll see you. All right. We have six picks. They are gold, they're, they're tickets, they're lottery tickets. That's how we always approach it. So we gotta nail it, that's the pressure, that's what we've been thinking about, uh, coaches and scouts, over the last nine months. And so we'll see what we can do. I think this year, you know, for me, the fourth round, it was something that I was focused on for a long time. I mean, we got a quick turnaround, John. Do we? Yeah. Relatively, we got a quick turnaround. So how many of those teams between our pick now and? Our next pick is drafted receivers. We were on the clock. They took Jake Ferguson, tight end Wisconsin. As you get into the heat of the moment, you don't really have time to think about the emotional aspect of like which players might be there. You're just focused on like, listen, no matter what happens, we have to make the best pick. Hey, is this Jordan? How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. We're going to make you uh, a fourth round pick coming up momentarily. Awesome, I really appreciate it. I'm ready to get to work. Treat each pick like it's an island unto itself. What's going on, Coach? What's going on? Well, were you getting drafted? That's what's going on. How's that? You excited <laughs> about it? Super excited. <laughs> I, I've been studying Mark since he was at OU, so I can't wait to work with him. He said he's been studying Mark since he's at OU in our offense, Greg, so he's all over it. <laughs> all right. Isaiah. Hey, it's Eric Tacosta, general manager of Baltimore. We're going to turn the pick in, OK? I appreciate you, my man. I promise you won't regret this. I promise. Oh, I know. Congratulations. Thank you. Don't really think about the combination of picks that you make. Just focus on the best player at the time. 165 and 191 for 141. Scott? 189 and 199? No, I don't think so. Thanks, man. One of the things that started to resonate with me was like, take the players that have high upside. David. You like Williams, right? Yeah. I went, we're gonna take, I'm gonna take a corner. I'm gonna take a corner. What's up, Trent? Yeah, we, we uh, I think we're gonna pick. Thanks, man. Hey, Demarion, it's Eric DeCosta in Baltimore. Hey, how would you feel about coming out east and playing with Baltimore on our defense? I would love that, I love that. What's up with you, man? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Come in here and do your thing, man. You're going to be a great Raven. You go into the fourth round with that many picks with a plan, and you hope to execute it. And I think Eric does a great job stacking the board and setting up the plan, and, and we were able to really nail a lot of the picks. Have you ever heard of the name Ozzie Newsome? <laughs> yeah, I knew you was about to say that one. I know that one, too. Jalen? Yes, sir. Roll Tide. <laughs> okay, you ready? I had a good talk with uh, Coach Saban about you last week. And uh, we're looking forward for you to come in here and you and uh, Marlon. You know, we do very good when we got two Alabama guys in the secondary, okay? <laughs> it was fun seeing the players get to the spots when we were picking and having the opportunity to take six quality players that we really feel like are going to help this team and improve this team. I think it was a great couple of days. I really appreciate everything that all you guys did, coaches and scouts and the office guys, the analytics guys. Everybody had a role this year, which I think is pretty special. I'm excited. We still have a lot of work to do today. We got drafted free agency. Uh, we get some opportunities and some positions, running back, receiver especially. And uh, let's make sure that we go after the, the best players and we're prepared to be competitive at those positions. So the post-draft free agency process is always great. It, it's a lot of fun for the scouts and coaches because it's a battle, it's a fight. You know, you're recruiting players. So what you're trying to do is 
go to a situation where you have a chance to make it a team. You need to figure out where your best opportunity is. The biggest thing I can offer is just the, the opportunity and the reps. Slade, it's John Harbaugh. How you doing, Slade? You're selling them on the Ravens, you're selling them on the opportunity, you're selling them on the success we've had over the years. Life is about opportunity, and sometimes you get in a situation and you know you, you know it's a good situation for you, you know you can play, you know the talent you have, but you just get an opportunity because you're stacked behind guys. I mean, you look around, you go, okay, yeah, I know I can play, but I understand why this guy's playing or that guy's playing, or that guy's getting the ball. So, to me, you got an opportunity here. The best players play, and the, and the best players are the guys that play the best. And that's it. That's how we do it. Are you, are you coming? Yeah, we got him. This is we got him. This is. Oh, we got him. Yeah, he got it done. He got. Congratulations, it done. my man. We love it. It's gonna be great. Mark does a phenomenal job organizing that, and it looks like chaos, but it's organized chaos. Sounds good. I put him on the depth chart, and if he's a good deal. Just call me and tell me. Striking a miss. Our coaches and scouts do a great job of explaining, you know, the long-term path we have for every individual player. I know your talent and I know what we need, all right? The guys that played your position last year, they're on other teams right now. They're not with us anymore. And, and we didn't draft anybody to, to fill the void. It's very Smith, the names go on, 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 on. You could be one of them. That's the best I could do. <laughs> I mean, I time to retire. I time to retire, retire. that's right. Appreciate it. There's a lot of work. It's a long established tradition of signing players after the draft that make an impact. We have Justin Tucker, Pat McCard, Pat McCarry, uh, to name a few that, that on our current roster that are impact players for us. So we put a lot of energy into the process. Great job, T. Great job, Coach. Dom, great job, bro. Appreciate Teamwork it. makes the Teamwork. 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 Like they say in showbiz, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Time will tell how we did, but I know you guys gave it your all this whole year, and I'm very appreciative. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I think we're in a good position. Just want to thank you guys for all the hard work and time spent away from your families and time spent here in the office late at night, early in the morning, running around. I hope you enjoy the night, enjoy tomorrow, and uh, celebrate. Okay? Thanks. There are the games within the games. It's not just what happens on Sundays. It's what happened in March. It's what happens in August that get you to Sundays. I'm confident that we'll have a good approach and we'll be the very best team we can be for our fans and for the community.